Welcome back to Outdoors with Larry Ray on ESPN 790 AM. Brought to you proudly by the Tennessee Wildlife Resources Agency. A good Saturday morning, and here we go. The best of Outdoors with Larry Ray over the past 500 shows. And welcome back to Outdoors with Larry Ray. I'm Dave Gabbard. One of your co-hosts for this week. Got across from me, my other brother, Daryl. Good morning. Yeah, Good Mr. Morning, Gene morning. Smith, Hunter, Ed Guru down here in the Memphis area. So we've got control of the studio today. Yes, we do. Got Stuart Settles in there keeping us straight. You know, this is we got a special edition of Open Mic Saturday here, the opening day of the gun season. And since it's Open Mic, you know, if anybody's got a question out there, give yeah, us a call Yeah, try to stump us. At 901-274-7979. <laughs> or if you're outside the area, give us 800 759 Six two seven nine. Of course, we've let Larry go to the woods today, and opening day of gun season to see if he can fulfill his life. There you go. Time lifelong it, ambition on his bucket list. Yeah, yeah, on his bucket list. Tried to you know take a deer on the air. Right. I don't know where he's gonna take him to, but he's gonna try to <laughs> take him, take a deer on there. Larry's hunting this morning on the Tigner farm up near Bolivar, Tennessee, and he should be calling in. Oh, I'm in. Are I'm you? In. He's there. He's Are, there. Oh, he's everywhere. He's everywhere. I'm here, guys. Yeah, I'm out I'm, here in the in the Tinker Farm uh, uh, with my uh, black down ground blind. Uh, my wife uh, Miriam is here helping me spot. All right. Uh, yeah. And it uh, it is rather windy. Yeah. I, um, I, I figure Miriam's just holding you down. You know, you need an extra rock in your pocket this morning. Well, right she had to help me put together this new uh, seat I've got, and uh, it, it's quite a seat that uh, I'm wasn't sure if I could figure it out, but I have. And uh, we're overlooking a uh, food plot here, a wonderful, beautiful field. Uh, we have we spooked a couple of deer coming in. We saw probably the biggest coyote I've ever seen. Mir- Miriam thought it was a wolf. <laughs> it was. Uh, that's when we uh, got to uh, the farm here, and we're hunting with uh, Shane, Mark, and Mike Tigner on the Tigner farm. And this is the uh, in their Hornsby and Bolivar. And this is the first time I've hunted. In several years on the Tigner farm because they uh, they went into a management program, had some timber cut down, and uh, built them a beautiful cottage out here, cabin if you want to call it, and uh, where we can stay overnight if we uh, wanted to. And, uh, All right. and this is our first hunt since our good friend Woodard Tigner passed away. Mm-hmm. So this is kind of dedicated to him as we uh, come together out here and. Uh, I'm waiting. Uh, I know there are big deer here, and I've been told I can shoot anything that walks out. I, I mean, <laughs> yeah. I, 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 I assume they meant deer. Yeah, of course. You know, yeah. Cause yeah. Anything else, but, but golly, guys, this is uh, this is warm. I mean, this is, uh, I've only heard one shot way off, 68 degrees or 66 degrees. The storms are coming in yeah. later. This, this is unbelievable. Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, you know, we were. I, we were talking about how strange the weather and, and looking at numbers, you know, on the opening weekend of muzzleload season when you was out there, and it was just as warm. You know, to show you the yeah. difference, last year they killed almost 11,000 deer on opening day. This year they killed 4,800 deer on opening day yeah. for the muzzleload. Well, well, I've got a hunch that this is uh, going to be a tough day, too. I did not see as much traffic as we normally do. We uh, we come by 72 in Mississippi up through seven and on to 18 on out at the bottom of 64 to get to this uh, wonderful place that they have really taken care of. And uh, like I said, I, I'm not sure. I know we got some bio, bio, biology, biologic out, in, yeah. out there. I couldn't, I see couldn't get it. Today. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> we're, we're right in the clump, middle of the field. I hope you get some, some good reports, but I'm really uh, hesitant to, to, to expect uh, when we're fighting off bugs here, things along <laughs> that line, and this is this is the opening day of deer season. I know, Dave, you can remember days where we froze to death and oh, it was yeah. cold. Oh, man, and, uh, can you imagine? Yeah. Oh, no, I can't imagine. Yeah. But uh, So instead of uh, all this clothing, we came in here, uh, the bare essentials. I don't mean we're out here in the nudist colony or anything can like you, that. The but booger I, shorts on? 
Uh, well, I haven't been to Bermuda. I think okay. they're from I thought, Bartlett. Yeah. Bart, Bartlett shops. I thought but, you were yeah. going to do something new like buck naked. Yeah. No, 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 buck. No, no naked. <laughs> we can, we can, the, the, I, I could take a naked buck right now. Yeah, so if that. it comes out. But I, I know y'all got a, we got a good show lined up. Uh, going to talk a little scent lock with uh, a, a gentleman that, uh, that he's killed 53 record deer in Michigan. Well, I saw that, yeah. Yeah, and you're going to get talk to him. Uh, I know you're going to hook up with the. Uh, Daniel Stanfield. I can't imagine the duck hunters in Arkansas this morning. Uh, yeah, they're all, uh, getting, Dave. You, you know, you love to duck hunt too, and I know what a day this is. The wind is about twenty right now uh, out of the southwest with gusts of thirty. Yeah, it, uh, I was telling yeah. my brother Daryl over. Where I came out this morning, and my truck parked under a big oak tree and a big gust of wind. I thought I was in a hailstorm. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, well, we heard that all during the night. My wife thought yeah. it was a, a hailstorm hitting our roof there right. so much. Yeah. But, uh, you know, I'm sure the deer are all wearing windbreakers today. Oh, yeah. So that should be. <laughs> uh, and the scent, you know, I've got on my scent lock, but I think uh, at this temperature, I just don't know. But, uh, hey, you folks out there, give, give uh, Dave and Gene, if you're out in a deer stand like I am, uh, give them a call, 274-7979. It uh, and see how you're liking it, but I just think, Dave, just like you said, this is not going to break any records today. No, it's, it's but, not, uh, it'll be interesting to talk uh, there at the you know last segment with Stuart. I mean, with Scott, uh, yeah, the single yeah. brothers. You know, we've got crews out. I believe there's a crew out there at uh, yeah, Scott. Are, you yeah. know, that will be collecting data, but, uh, but um, you know, not, not not good. But I'm I'm here. The whispers here. I'll break in that Stuart knows if there's any action comes, uh, I'll let you guys know and I'll get on target and uh, and hand the phone to my wife and we'll hear if something happens. Okay, all right, guys. All right. Okay, before you go, right. I, I was talk, talking to Stuart this morning. I understand you're going to give away a couple of items today. I sure am. A $25 Avery gift card. We're okay. going to give that away. Why don't you do that right now before you leave? Let's do that right now. 274 7979, a $25 Avery gift card. Be a great. You go over there on Cumberland Avenue and, uh, and, and get you a gift for yourself or maybe that special person. But uh, yeah, let's do that right now, Stuart. And, 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 uh, and still the same restrictions, you know, not have one in the last 30 days? Or? That's right. Yeah, if you haven't won, we'd rather really like to have um, a uh, new person. A, yeah. a, a female. Let, yeah, like there you go. Yeah. Female, yeah, because, uh, you know, we do, well, some does as we call them, but uh, <laughs> let's give that away. Then we'll give later in the show a year's subscription to the Mid-South Hunt and Fishing News, which um, I'm proud to be the editor of. And uh, So I'm going to take a break and uh, start looking again, but uh, I'll talk to you all later. Okay. All right. Well, all right. Uh, just keep your feet anchored on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Larry Ray was giving us a call from the Tickner Farm up there at Bolivar, and, and yeah. one of these days, you know, maybe he'll. Say, yeah, maybe this is the day. Yeah, like I said, we're letting him do this because you know daylight saving time has changed. You know the difference than when he had on the open day muzzleloading season. It's you know it's still dark, dark by the right, time we yeah. went off the air. Well, now he's got some daylight, and uh, hopefully, you know, I, yeah. I don't know what kind mm. of excuse he's going to give me if he misses because <laughs> you know I've got his rifle tuned. That's up, right. You, know, you, took it you back tuned to up. Him. You tuned it up for him. Tuned it up and everything. Made sure everything was in good working order. So. You know, that's one thing people don't understand. When you buy a gun off the rack, you have to do a little critique into it. It's and, not uh, uh, perfect every yeah, time. Yeah, you got to, you know, the same thing with a bow. You know, and, you oh, take yeah. a bow, you got to tune it up and everything. So it's uh, uh, even a shotgun, you know. Be surprised how many people will purchase a new shotgun. And never and, pattern and it. And never pattern it, right, you know. Yeah. Because sometimes you get a little flaw from the factory. It's not shooting where you're right. looking. yeah. And everything. I had a but, buddy of uh, mine had a, a 410 double barrel, and one one barrel shot one way, and one shot the other. And uh, it was a name brand uh, shotgun. Yeah, and uh, that was uh, you know speaking like I said last week, I was out in Arizona, and uh, had the privilege of going by the uh, Arizona Game and Fish headquarters above Phoenix out oh, there, yeah. and it sets on a huge 
range complex called Ben Avery Public Shield. We're talking 1,600 acres. Oh, my goodness. Of shit. We're 1,000 yard range, all kinds of pistol ranges. The, the public 100 yard rifle range, talking to them, you know, it probably had 100 shooting stations. Wow. Around. Oh, my and, goodness. And this going into their busy time of year, one yeah. of the, talking yeah. to one of the volunteers, it was, of course, it was closed today. I was out there, so I got to look around a lot. He said on the weekends that it's usually an hour hour and a half wait to get a position on that line out wow. there. So it it was just remarkable. They probably you know? shoot a long way out there, don't you, if it's real flat? Oh, yeah. yeah. Like I said, they got a 1,000-yard range oh, my goodness, and yeah. everything. And uh, <laughs> But, uh, you know, a beautiful complex. And, uh, you know, Ben Avery was one of the kind of like Larry. He was a longtime outdoor writer for the Phoenix paper there, and, uh-huh. and he was a big advocate of we need to build ranges. Right, exactly. And well, that's why we we don't have one here for the you know, side of rifle so. in, yeah. But uh, Stuart's pointing his finger at me. Must mean the quickest the other 15 minutes has <laughs> flown by. You. So take a break, get you another cup of coffee, come back and join us for another segment of the award-winning Outdoors with Larry.